How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse and I'm here with Elliot Heath, product line manager at Nike. Today we are going to be taking a first look, deep dive into the premier mid-distance track spike on the market. We got the Nike Air Zoom Victory 2. Now, Elliot, we saw a pretty radical design with the last version of this shoe, really shaking things up in the mid-distance world. Can you tell us about version 2 and how it's kind of evolved to the next level? Yeah, thanks Connor. Um, like you said, the Victory has always stood for pinnacle middle distance racing, and Air Victory 2 takes that to another level. The Air Victory 1 uh, introduced this concept of energy storage and the air chambers into uh, middle distances and the spike for the first time. The Air Victory 2 takes that to another level. It unlocks some of the performances in terms of harnessing that energy. And in this version, all of that comes together for a faster, more versatile middle distance spike. And when we talk about foams in this shoe, obviously Zoom X was used in the last version really to get that energy benefits. We've seen that on the road side and it's worked really well on the track side. How has that been changed in this shoe? Do we still have the same compound and have uh, the design and geometry has changed a little bit? Yeah, so the Victory has Zoom X foam in the heel, but when it comes to the Victory, it's about way more than just the Zoom X. There's a full system of speed with that Zoom X foam in the heel, but then a full length carbon fiber fly plate that stretches from the toe all the way back to the heel, uh, and new outsole plate material uh, a, that is higher performing, lighter weight, stiffer, more snappy response. Uh, and sandwiched in between all that is really the magic of the shoe and the engine of the shoe, and that's the dual chambered uh, air zoom units. And are those zoom units the same as before? Are you still getting that same kind of energy return at toe off? Yeah, it's, it's the same dual chambered air zoom units that make up the engine of the shoe. What the magic is about the shoe is really unlocking and harnessing the energy return and even allowing you to engage the airbags more. The more you engage them, the more energy that you're going to get returned from them. So that's still at the heart of the shoe, but everything else, this is really a beauty of the design team taking into uh, really maximizing and fine tuning the design around that engine. In the carbon plate as that stiffening element, really adding a little bit of stability, a little bit of propulsion. How has that changed from that last version from some of the data you guys have uh, found? Yeah, so it goes in tandem with the energy you're returning from the air units. You want to be really stable on that. And like you said, you also want to be really aggressive and able to sprint. A lot of middle distance athletes, they take their, their calling card is their ability to sprint and be at top speed at the end of the race. And so we didn't want to change that. However, we did want to add a little bit of stability to it. So the carbon fiber pl fly plate in this one, it gets just a little bit flatter from side to side in the forefoot, ultimately creating a more stable platform, but still super propulsive in the uh, heel to toe direction, giving them that really powerful and top end speed that they need at the end of the race. Now let's move on down to the bottom of the shoe. Look at the actual spike plate and traction. What's been changed here? Well, Connor, if you're looking at the bottom of the spike, what you're going to notice right away is that there's actually two less spikes in the bottom of the Victory. So traction was one element we really looked at to try to assess how much traction was really needed by the athletes and where could we reduce. So we took the amount of traction, we studied athletes' foot strikes, and we found that actually with the correct placement of just four spike pins, we could allow all the traction that the athletes need through those spikes. The secondary traction there is a safety factor to add to that traction, but really the four spikes is where most of the traction is coming from. What that reduction in spikes allows is one, we're saving weight. So metal is the heaviest material that's in the spike period. So if you remove a metal receptacle as well as a spike, that's a lot of heavy material that you're taking out of the shoe. The secondary benefit of taking out those spikes is you can actually design those areas a little bit better. So anytime you have a spike, that's kind of taking that area off limits in terms of allowing our design team to really add performance to the shoe. So you remove those couple spikes and actually it creates a flatter zone here, along with this extra built up edge, which we're calling the base of support system, creates a flatter and more stable platform for athletes, both on the straightaway as well as around the turns. And for mid-distance spikes, really weight is so important. And the upper is kind of that last piece to help keep weight down. And we've got a slightly modified design that's still just as thin and lightweight as ever. Can you tell us about it? 
For sure. So when we look at the upper of the Victory, it's a new Atom Knit upper. And what Atom it stands for is it's a fly knit type upper, really built in a reductive and also locked out way. Athletes want something that's really light, really soft in the right areas, but they also need to be contained, especially in these thicker uh, midsole type spikes where you're providing more energy. They need the confidence that the upper is holding them really, really well. This new Atom Knit Upper obsesses every single detail and engineers the different zones how they need to be. So first, if you look in the toe box area of the Victory, it's super soft, it's super open, breathable, lightweight, and also soft on the toes to remove any irritation. As you look into the midfoot, that's where we have these extra cables that highlight the ability of the Victory to hug the foot, keep it super contained and confident in that midfoot. And then as you look to the heel, there's a little bit extra reinforcement, ultimately holding that heel super secure uh, and confident for the athletes as they take the races. And we've seen over the years with Nike track spikes, both on mid distance and distance, that heel cut out in the back. Can you just work, walk us through why that continues to be used and what the benefit is? Yeah, so that first intro with the victory, the original victory where the obsession was how light of a, how light of a spike can we make? That's still the genesis and that's still the goals of the victory. However, we're not only making the lightest spikes, but we're making the most energy returning, most efficient, most responsive spikes. But that's a, although it was rooted in just trying to remove weight, it actually has become part of the fit system of the heel. So if you, by removing just that one area, it allows the other areas of the heel to cup the heel very nicely, hold it in place uh, and create more comfort there. So it's kind of a win-win in terms of weight reduction as well as fit. And now in 2024, there's so many great track spikes, both for mid distance and distance. You've got Victory and Dragonfly. For the high school college runner who's trying to figure out which spike is best for them, why would you lean towards the Victory? Who is this for? Yeah, I mean, I try not to play favorites amongst our spikes, but I think if you look at the updates to the spikes coming this year in 2024, leading into the games, it's the Victory has had some of the biggest updates and some of the biggest unlocks in terms of harnessing the abilities and the power of that uh, air zoom units and the, the system of speed when it comes to the victory. Um, when you see in combination with the upper as well as just the fine details, if we look at the midsole of the spike, there's been some inspiration taken from the Dragonfly. The Dragonfly has been so loved by so many athletes from 800 all the way up to 5K. We felt like we could bring a little bit more of that into the victory. And so just a little bit more gradual midsole shape right behind the AirPods, that helps to unlock more transition and versatility of the spikes. And with those athletes that we've been testing, we've seen that come to life just in the shoes that they're choosing. Um, just this last year, there have been world records set in the 1500, the mile, and then even the 5K, athletes taking it to run the 5K and set world records twice in development versions of the victory. So I think we're gonna see high school, collegiate, professional athletes really leaning into the victory for those middle distance races. Well, perfect, Elliot. We saw such an amazing introduction of the victory four years ago. It's hard to upgrade it, but it looks like now with the fine details in the midsole, the outsole, the plate, this shoe has gone to the next level. It's gonna be a great addition for runners from 800 to 1500, and maybe even some athletes looking for something aggressive for the 5K. For people looking to get this shoe on their feet, try it out for themselves. You can find it here at Running Warehouse. <laughs>